Hi there, welcome. In this video, we are looking at subtraction. It is, of course, one of the four rules, those being addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And I do have videos on the others on my channel if you hit the subscribe button. Let's start with a fairly straightforward example then, and we're going to subtract 340 from 854. Now, the rule is that when we are subtracting, we start in this column here and we move our way in that direction. We are not being asked to do the whole thing all at once. As with a lot of sums, addition, subtraction, multiplication or division, we do things one step at a time and work our way through in an organised manner. So the first thing we're going to do is say 4, take away 0. Remember, we are always taking the bottom row from the top. We can never do it the other way around. So 4, take away nothing, you would still have 4. 5, take away 4, would leave you with 1. And 8, take away 3, would leave you with 5. And there's your answer. Now this example has two larger numbers. Let's not worry about that because, as I said before, we are going to do this one step at a time. So we start with the first column and it is saying one take away four. We cannot turn this round. We cannot do four take away one. We are, as I mentioned, always taking the bottom number from the top. Now, of course, if you have one, I can't take away four from it. So what do we do? Well, we look at the next column here. Now here we have seven and these are the tens column. So if I was to take one of these tens, which would leave just six there, and put it in this column here, adding a 10 to that one turns it into 11. So we now have 11 take away four. We can do that because the answer is seven. Move on to the next column, six minus five, is 1. 2 take away 1 is 1. 4 take away 5. Here we have the same problem. If we have 4, you can't take 5 away from it. So we look at the next column and we take one of those and we put it onto that column there. And that turns that from a 4 into a 14. 14 take away 5 we can do because that's 9. The next column is 8 take away 6 is 2 and we've reached the end 29,117. So what method have we used here? Well if the bottom number is larger we cannot turn things around therefore we have to make a change to the top number and the trick is we always take one from the next column and increase the size of the number by 10. Let's have a look at another example of that. Let's say we have 706 and we want to take away 478. Now, this is possibly the most complicated one. The first thing we have to do is 6 take away 8. Well, we can't do that. We can't take 8 if we only have 6. Therefore, as I said earlier, we go to the next column to take one from there. However, in this example, there is nothing in the next column. So we have to do something about that. And the way we do that is we go to the next column again. Now, if I take one from that column, which only leaves a six, that then turns this one from a zero to a 10. So the one that I've taken from here makes a 10 there. Now, I'm actually wanting to do this first row here, but I'm in a better situation now because I now have some numbers in this column that I can take to help me out. So if I take one from the 10, which leaves a nine, that means that this six becomes a 16. Now we've done an awful lot of work there. We haven't even started the actual sum, but now we're in a position where we can do that because 16 take away 8 
is 8, 9 take away 7 is 2, and 6 take away 4 is also 2. So in summary, we look at the next column. Is there something that we can take to help us make the job easier? If there isn't, we move on again and we work our way backwards, taking one from each column until we have the numbers that we need. I hope that's helped with your subtraction. Don't forget to look at the other videos and I have plenty of other functional skills, maths ones, on the channel. Thank you.